All right, we are live. Another quick tip Tuesday, each and every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's topic, very hot topic, especially now in certain areas with older homes. Uh, today's topic is FHA 203K loans. What is a 203K loan? So, tip, there's two types of loans for FHA that are typically used. There's one that's called 203B which is your move-in ready homes. They don't need much work. Maybe it can be outdated, uh, but you're fine with it. Maybe there's certain things that it's okay with the area. Uh, with the... There's there's no really structural damage or any issues, no broken windows. It's livable. No pain and pain, it's livable. It's habitable. Uh, that's 203B. 203K is when a property needs work. You wanna do any improvements to the house you you got to fix the maybe the roof uh the broken windows uh peel paint um there's certain issues with the house so that's when 203k gets into play so 203k you're basically getting a loan uh you're rehabbing the house and you're adding that rehab cost into the mortgage so for example you're buying a house for 200,000 the house needs about 100,000 of work you're basically getting a loan for 300,000 down payment will be three and a half percent of the purchase price plus the rehab. So that would be $300,000 uh, full mortgage. Down payment, of course, three and a half percent. You're still putting about 10,500 for that entire um, acquisition. Keep in mind, the property has to appraise for the acquisition, the total acquisition. So basically the what you're buying it for plus the rehab. So the property cannot appraise for 275 with all the work you're putting into. Uh, the good thing about FHA 203K, I believe uh, they give you up to 110% of the value. So it can you can go a little bit higher than the actual appraised value. So there's a little wiggle room there. So, but the number one most important person in a 203K loan is your contractor, believe it or not. Uh, so 203K loans take a little bit longer to close because there's extra paperwork and a lot of extra paperwork that a contractor, a licensed contractor needs to provide. Uh, if that contractor is delaying with the paperwork, it will delay the transaction. So a few documentations uh, that a contractor needs to provide. Uh, number one, he has to be, a, of course, licensed. So definitely keep that in mind. Ask them if they're, they've done two or three K loans before. Uh, they were aware of the paperwork and, and that type of information. So they would definitely need to provide a certificate of liability insurance. Of course, the driver's license, an insurance policy, a contractor's license. And if the house is prior to 1978, they, the, the contractor or the subcontractor will need to provide a less certificate. So definitely keep that in mind. That's some of the documentation they're going to ask for. They're also going to ask the contractor to complete a full form. Of course, uh, like prior jobs they've done, uh, some references, uh, the license number, a bid. That's very, very important, a bid. What a bid is, is basically an itemized breakdown of what they're going to do to the house. If they're going to paint the entire house. How much is the paint gonna cost? How much is the labor gonna cost? So they have to basically split that out. If they're gonna re, re, uh, redo the roof, uh, if there's gonna be demo involved, uh, if they're gonna get dumpster, if they're gonna buy the supplies buy, with the labor, they basically gotta break all of that down for a two or three K loan. So more paperwork involved. Typically they take roughly about, if our average loan is taking 30 days to close on a good day, of course, depending if no hiccups, uh, you'll probably take about maybe two more weeks. So about 45 days for 203K if everything's running smoothly. Uh, there's multiple types of 203K loans. There's a standard and a limited. So limited is basically you're getting less than $35,000 of work. If you're going less than 35,000, limited is the way to go. A little bit less paperwork. But if you're getting a standard, which is more than $35,000 of rehab on the property, you're gonna have a little bit more paperwork as well as a, you need a HUD consultant. A HUD consultant basically walks you through the process, make sure you're basically not getting overcharged for like materials, for labor, 
uh, but there's a fee to that. So keep that in mind. What happens if a contractor doesn't fill out all the paperwork in a timely manner? Uh, uh, many things can happen. So number one, if your rate is locked, you can t uh, possibly lose that rate, get a higher rate. Uh, it would delay the transaction. The seller can possibly kill the deal if you're taking too long on closing the deal. Uh, you won't be able to get a mortgage basically it would definitely number one it would definitely delay the transaction speaking of rates rates are typically higher for a construction loan uh, so I would it's I can't really give you a ballpark how higher but probably like a quarter to half a point higher uh, but it, it definitely can vary depending on standard versus limited uh, purchase price the area and a lot of your credit score of course so just expect to pay more uh, higher rate on a veneration loan uh, let's see what else do i have so the hud consultant if you're getting a standard uh, 203k you're gonna need a hud consultant that's huge of course there's a fee associated with it but that would be helpful for people that are not familiar with constructions they will definitely help you through the process uh walk you through make sure you're not getting basically ripped off uh, you're not paying for more um, so I actually used 203k before you can use them for multi-family home which is great uh, I used it for a three-family home uh, I did a limited one so it was under 35,000 uh, it was a conversion from oil tank to gas uh, did some flooring added some walls uh, very minor cosmetic stuff here and there painted some um, kitchen cabinets uh, painted the whole house so yeah a lot of a lot of stuff done within the home but it was a limited one uh, the, of course the contractor the bank was going back and forth with the contractor to provide updated paperwork maybe he filled something out wrong uh, so it was a very tedious process but after you close of course uh, there's draws they're not gonna give the entire money to the contractor keep that in mind they are gonna give them a first draw uh, if everything goes well inspect Go for the next draw uh, and then keep going depending how many draws, how many work needs to be done, uh, then the final draw. So the good thing about 203K, they give you a 10% cap, uh, wiggle room kind of. Basically, if you have $50,000 renovation, they give you 55K because they know things can change, price uh, materials can go up, unforeseen circumstances. So they give you that little wiggle room, but if things go over that, you basically have to come out of pocket so just make sure you're you have that wiggle room you have um, the contractor is good with with uh, pricing it out of course things may go up uh, things may happen uh, unforeseen circumstances so it's always good to have cash on hand uh, the good uh, also if you're looking for conventional uh, conventional has a similar program it's called a uh, home star renovation uh, it's a little different. Uh, I was less strict. There's a less strict. Uh, it's just different. Um, so that's another option. So if you have any other questions, just uh, let me know. If you're interested in renovation loans, if if you're interested, this is actually a good market for that. As depending on the area, New Jersey, of course, a lot of older homes, certain areas are older homes, so it's good to fix those up. Uh, you could possibly force equity. But it's very tedious, a lot of paperwork, just definitely keep in mind, contractor is key, key, key. It's, uh, you're gonna jump through a lot of hurdles, so be patient, extra patient with those with those uh, construction loans. That's it for today. If you have any questions or any topics for next week's Quick Tip Tuesday, please let me know, shoot me a message, and I hope you learned something.